sealed the city, our job was to go door to door and find out who was still all right. So we'd knock on doors. Sometimes you'd hear a voice that sounded like a person. So you'd go in. Only it turned out it was a viral. All angry and crazy, just enough voice left to fool you. Sometimes they weren't alone. The suits are pretty tough. They're PVC with reinforced double-layered polyfiber core. We thought we were safe. It turned out the biters could chew right through it. Sometimes I see some of my old squad shambling around. It gets me down to see them like that. You know the funny thing? They're all biters now, but they can't bite. Because they don't have the brains to take off their masks. I'll tell you, this whole thing is pretty damn strange.
Ah! <laughs> 
in orange waiting for it. Thanks for the surprise. So you beat Rice to the airdrop, huh? Now that's impressive. Welcome. I've got your anti-seizure medicine. Thanks. Oh, how'd things go with Gazi? Well, he may be challenged, but he's very good at getting what he wants. Did you meet his mom? Yeah, she seemed happy. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass this on to you. With his thanks. Good work taking out that antizin lab. You've saved a lot of lives. Now, it's only a matter of time before someone starts another one. The danger is all those empty antisin bottles out there. People throw them away, and then anyone can refill them with whatever they like. Now you better start destroying them. We've collected all the bottles in the tower. Plus, Brecken is offering a $10 bounty for every bottle you runners find out there. Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity.
dark in about an hour. Karahim, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! 
What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right, what does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right, let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. And that is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left! Oh. Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some Antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of Antizen stockpiled. Tower Trash. Hey guys, look at this chicken shit. There you are. Rice said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. If I do this, I'll get the antis in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. You and I could be real good friends. You're here to join? <laughs> Shit, you were the last minute. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy.
Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Us not to move or speak. They started beating us. Thank you. Thank God you were around. They were going to give us two rice.
First antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Oh. 